in LA anymore. If you watched my vlogs last winter, we came to Matsu's family's cabin out in Colorado. Last year we came <laughs> like right after Thanksgiving and ended up staying until spring, but we're not staying that long this time. A little like 10 days, I think. So it is actually Christmas Eve. We got in last night and it snowed today. So we're taking a nice snowy walk and I'm so excited. I'm legitimately my best self in the snow. Yeah, do you agree? You do enjoy the snow. Taylor Swift, cowboy like me. You can see the mist rolling off the mountain. The ring just belongs here. I love it. Wait, I gotta take a picture of my ring in the snow. Private property, no trespassing. We own. I know, that was the joke. <laughs> That's some snot. She got a dumpy. Think a storm's coming? Looks like it. Storms are brewing? Yeah, it looks like it. My default face over here is like. <laughs> Excitement? Yeah. Yeah, Christmas lights. I don't know, so it's not so boring all the time. And we put those up last year and then we just kept them here. I've also decided that these new boots that I got, new Sorrells, I'm just gonna keep them here because they're so big. We don't like go anywhere that I need like snow boots, the kind that you're like trekking <laughs> through the mountains, except here. But it looks like today so far is the only day it's gonna snow. Yeah, Hopefully that'll change. Yeah, it's supposed to be pretty cold tonight, so I think that we might the snow might stick for tomorrow. Yeah. And we'll have a white Christmas. Yeah. Matsu's mom got me air in a can. This is life changing. <sighs> Cause COVID lungs plus altitude is not it. We've been exposed to COVID. We're gonna do a home test before and then we have PCR appointments today. I don't feel great, but it's hard to tell because I do have long COVID. I still have a cough. I still have shortness of breath, chest tightness. I still don't have like my sense of taste and smell fully back. What else? I don't know. So it's hard to know if I'm feeling worse. And I definitely felt worse when we got here just because of the altitude. So it's all snot on that. There's like fully snot in this. <laughs> this is like a pregnancy test. So negative. That's good. Who's ready to get their PCR test? Hello? Yeah. Very long line. Right, you're all set. Thank you. Tested mother and you're gonna marry me. That dick silly. I'm dick silly and this is my street. Well, in a fun turn of events, the power's out at the mountain house and now we have to pack up all of our stuff and make the trek down to Denver. Would you like to say that you called it? 
Yeah. The power came yeah, back yes. on. Oh, oh, oh. That was a false alarm. The power is off again. How are you feeling? Exhausted. Matt's also just reminded me that his childhood bed is, is a twin. It's gonna feel like college. I feel like I should explain a little bit more about what happened yesterday and last night, and I'm gonna finish doing my skincare routine while I do that. Update on the COVID test situation. So far, the home tests we've all taken have come back negative and we are just waiting on our PCR test. There were no tests where we were staying because we were in the mountains. If you're familiar with Colorado, we had to go all the way from Bailey to Aurora, which was an hour and 45 minutes, and then took us an hour to get through the line and then we drove all the way back up to Bailey. I didn't record any of the drives there because it was so windy. So it was like hell to get through that wind both ways there and back, it was brutal. And when we got back to the house in Bailey, the power had been going in and out all day, but just like flashing on and off, flashing on and off. And we are probably at the house for like two hours, maybe. <laughs> and then the power went out out and didn't come back on so that meant we had obviously no electricity no hot water no heat no um sewage like can't flush toilets can't cook anything and it was getting down to like 12 degrees last night and there was a snowstorm coming so we were like we should we should head out we were really lucky and that we were able to head out because they live in denver full time so we could just come to Monsa's parents house in denver so we didn't have to evacuate because of the fires because there's a ton of fires going on right now in boulder but the wind is what knocked the power lines down which caused the fires and the power lines were knocked down for the electricity and the power where we were but it just didn't result in a fire thankfully so i just feel so bad for, for everyone like it's crazy like we drove by some of like the like we could see the fires and it was just like so scary and someone from california who's very familiar with fires like it's a horrible horrible thing so that is where we're at we are keeping our fingers crossed that we'll be able to get our flight <laughs> tomorrow but again there's a snowstorm coming tonight and this is the snow all night all day today all night and then also tomorrow so flight might be canceled because of weather so we will see i'm so excited oh it's still snowing So how are you feeling? I love it. We, I think we need to move somewhere where it snows. We can always move here. <laughs> Maybe not here. Oh no, here. Thank you.